Hey, my friends. Happy, beautiful uh, morning here in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, welcome to chapter two of I Decided to Build a Pool. I have um, created this really cool um, tip sheet, if you will, of the things that I wish I had considered before jumping into this pool bandwagon. But what I wanted to do today is just to show you the progress. Uh, to do a little recap, we started this project back in November. Um, I remember, you know, December was pretty chilly and I was really surprised to see the enthusiasm and how, you know, they came and dig the hole and, you know, started doing the forms. And let me get closer so that you can see what I mean. So all of those forms and um, the plumbing and all of that good stuff. And then um, all of a sudden, all the work stopped. And the reason why it stopped is because apparently this issue with uh, the chain of supply not only affects um, like consumer goods, like everyday staples, but um, also parts. It, I still wonder how is it possible that it took over two months to get this part. But let me show you the reason why this project has been stalling for so long has to do with those two things you see over there, those big um, pipes with the great, great cover. So since this pool is going to have uh, like um, jets to create current, okay, let me backtrack a little bit. The reason I'm building this pool is so that my daughter, Macarena, she, she just had knee surgery. And the doctor basically said that, you know, she has no cartilage in her knees and that there's a pretty good possibility that, you know, she might have problems in the future with that. And also is starting to show, um, you know arthritis and things like that but anyway so the point is and she's definitely in the overweight um side of things i wanted for her to have the opportunity to work out exercise in something else that was not as high impact as the walker and the rower and so on so back to the pool that is why uh this pool has those two things right there so that you can swim in place well the aforementioned technology took good part of two two months almost three months to get it so we finally got them this last friday i was told by the manager or project manager of this thing that they were trying not to get the people to do the god night which is you know the, all the cement and stuff so that is the next phase of the pool but we're still having this uh, incredible nightmare for my dog that he cannot go anywhere and let me bring this one back up so the problem that we have right now as i've shown you before is that we have all of this piping plumbing um and we have no access to our backyard so that has been a challenge you know with the dogs and stuff and uh but other than that um yeah it's inconvenient you know so far and it's not i'm not blaming the pool company i just wish they had probably started the, you know, to do all this digging and stuff until they had all the parts, uh, especially because, you know, we all know that this uh, supply chain issue is an ongoing thing. But stay tuned. I will, you know, do the next phase of this project as soon as they come and do the God Eye. Uh, don't forget to, if you're interested, I wrote this incredible, fast, six things that I wish I had known before I jumped into the build a pool bandwagon kind of a thing. And we can definitely email that to you. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, specific questions, please let me know. And I look forward to uh, seeing you soon.